Welcome everybody, my name is Sebastian Ovesi and you are watching the American Dream RV Service and Inspections YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to present a new unit that we have added to our inventory for sale. Uh, this uh, travel trailer, which is a 40 foot uh, unit, uh, is made by Logan Coach, which is an American company and it's a very unique RV. Uh, it's not a very common uh, type of RV that you see on the, on the roads these days. Uh, it's made with aluminum frame, aluminum, uh, treated aluminum uh, uh, exterior panels and all real wood, like the red cherry uh, uh, wood for the cabinets and even the hardwood floors. Uh, so this unit is definitely uh, falls under the luxury type of uh, travel trailers. Again, it's 40 foot and it's considered a fifth wheel. So for those of you that are looking for a spacious fifth wheel that's, uh, that's top notch and it's made with quality materials and and you're if you're interested in uh, something that's gonna last you a long time and, and it will give you longevity, this is the unit for you. So again, thank you for tuning in. Let's go ahead and dive in and see what this uh, RV has to offer. As I mentioned in the opening, this is a fifth wheel made by Logan Coach. And this RV is built with aluminum frame and also treated aluminum exterior panel, which is great because it prevents water leaks a lot better than your traditional fiberglass RVs. It does have one slide out and that is on the street side of the unit. Now you have the ability to hook this up to a 30 or a 50 amp uh, pedestal or electrical outlet. Additionally, it does have power leveling system. The front cargo compartment is where you will find the spare tire assembly and also the dual propane cylinder setup. In addition to the propane, you will also find the battery disconnect switch, which is the master power switch of the coach and also dual uh, lead acid battery 12 volt system. On the left corner, you will find the hydraulic fluid reservoir for the leveling jacks. There are two entrance doors to the coach, one in the front and one toward the rear of the unit. And there is a manual step set up, makes it easier to enter the coach on both of the entry points. Additionally, this is a toy hauler, which can carry up to 10,000 pounds of cargo. Um, the owner uh, currently uses it to haul its off-roading Jeep, which weighs about 9,000 pounds. And the ramp to get into the garage of the unit actually can carry up to 10,000 pounds. So uh, your vehicle can easily just drive into the garage for this fifth wheel. This unit sits on two axles. And these are pretty powerful types of axles. They're known as torsion. And unlike the uh, spring leaf suspension system, these torsion axles are, are actually a lot smoother. Um, so I'm, I'm a big fan of them. And this, it's refreshing to see that the manufacturers are actually starting to use the torsion axles more and more nowadays. All right. And each axle has 8,000 pounds of carrying capacity. So you have a total of 16,000 pounds that these axles are carrying, which makes it ideal for the, uh, the garage, where if you have a vehicle or a golf cart or something that's a little bit on the heavy side, you, you can be sure that you're not gonna run into any problems and this RV can definitely carry it. This RV comes with a six gallon water heater, uh, which is pretty good. Uh, for something this size and it works uh, off of gas. This is the roof exterior. We are looking at it from front to rear. And as you can see, there's that's the, uh, the air conditioner, which is in the center of the coach. And you also have a TV media antenna that works for the TV and for the radio. Additionally, this is a aluminum roof which again makes it ideal uh, to, to prevent uh, water leaks. And as you can see, it's sealed up really well. Um, so you don't, typically with these units, uh, water leaks are not very common. 
and if there is a water leak it's usually is it's, it's a uh, result of either some sort of an impact you know a branch may have fallen on the roof that was heavy and you know uh, put a puncture on the roof or uh, the, the roof has not been maintained and therefore it starts accumulating rust and grime which eventually will penetrate through the uh, aluminum panels however uh, the owner for this RV has taken care of this unit very, very well. As you can see, there's no uh, breakage or gashes or any type of uh, cracks that would prevent, that would uh, uh, allow uh, for water to come in and potentially cause uh, damages. Also wanted to show you guys the underbelly of this unit, which you can see it is in great shape. There's no rust, there's no, uh, there's no damage or any uh, bent uh, components. Uh, that that could potentially become uh, problematic down the line. This unit is in excellent shape. It, the roof and the underbellies are just uh, in an immaculate uh, condition, and I think uh, this is the type of RV uh, that can give you longevity. Inside the camper. Um, so now I wanted to show you where the uh, bed area is, which is in the front. It's uh, directly above the hitch for the fifth wheel is uh, and typically for these types of RV when the beds are elevated uh, usually you don't have that big of a, a space um, they, you know uh, in my experience checking other RVs usually the ceilings for this for this type of design the ceiling is a little bit lower so this is actually great it has plenty of space uh, you don't necessarily have to uh, crawl on your stomach uh, to get inside the bed and as you can see it has cabinets right above the bed windows on both sides the one on the left is the emergency exit window should you need to uh, exit the unit uh, for whatever reason uh, a unforeseen situation like a fire or a flood or something like that but yeah so this is the bed the bed area and inside the bed area there's a television so that's that's I mean that's facing the bed directly all right and these are the lights okay all right, so now we're going to go walk towards the living area. Uh, where we are right now, unfortunately, we don't have access to power, so I am not able to extend the slide out all the way, but I can assure you the slide out works. Uh, and it's perfectly aligned, and there's no issues with it. But the slide out, once it's fully extended, it actually adds additional four feet to your living area. Okay? Um, and this is going to be your kitchen. Um, your kitchen cabinets and as I mentioned earlier uh, typically in the RV space you're going to see uh, the cabinet materials are all made from uh, recycled uh, uh, materials uh, such as sawdust and what they do is they, they, they press the sawdust they glue it and they put a wallpaper over it them to make it look like it's real wood and it's not uh, but the good thing about this RV they actually use real wood and you can tell by just looking at the panel okay this is real wood and this is made from cherry wood this is the vinyl linoleum vinyl flooring uh which matches the rest of the um, interior uh, makes it just perfect the leather is actually real leather it's not that uh plastic vinyl as you typically see in other rvs um, and the kitchen kind of does come with two um, uh, stools uh, which just allows you to have a little bit more space for for guests okay um you got the refrigerator right here we have a freezer and a refrigerator and they both work properly and they get down to the proper temperatures um freezer and refrigerator all right and then in the living area if you look toward the front you'll also find the tv for the living area plus the radio uh which is bluetooth compatible okay now as a, when we were up in the roof when i showed you guys that antenna that antenna is uh is the, connected to these two devices okay so you're going to be able to get your uh, regular am fm radio plus the regular uh local broadcasting channels on the tv uh but the cool thing about it is is that you can actually connect your tv to your phone if you have like prime or netflix you can watch it um from your phone and you know it's you can uh uh, sync it with the TV, but which is a really cool thing. Okay, so you don't necessarily have to go out and get expensive satellite system or, or pass, you know, or get like Prime uh, monthly subscription, whatever. But this is great. Okay, so this allows you to just connect your phone 
to uh, to your um, to, to the TV and and watch uh, your favorite shows. All right. Now, this is also a DVD player. Okay. So as you can see, DVD, Bluetooth, which is great. If you get some movies, you can just keep them in here. This is where you keep all your movies or your books, whatever. Uh, the bottom cabinet. Um, but yeah, that's your main living area entertainment center. All right, so now um, we're going to show you the microwave and the floor cabinets. All right, and we have the under the kitchen sink is right here. And you can see it's pretty solid. Uh, there, there's no signs of uh, rotting cabinets because of leaks or anything like that, which is great. Again, the owner has really uh, taken really good care of this RV. This is the back of the water heater. All right. Uh, the plumbing on this unit is perfectly fine. Uh, I just did a sales auto report on this unit and did not find any issues. All right. This is the main bathroom um, where the toilet is. You also got the kitchen. I'm sorry, the uh, bathroom cabinets. Bathroom has an entrance door to the back of the RV. Just in addition to having the ability to access the bathroom from the main living area, you can actually uh, also access the bathroom from the garage side of uh, the unit. So this is the shower stall with the glass doors and the door has a latching mechanism which allows you to keep the door closed when the vehicle is in motion. Uh, it's shower faucet, shower head, and this is your shower stall with a drain. And right above the shower stall there's a skylight, which kind of makes it pleasant to get some lights in here. And as I mentioned, the one of the entrances for the bathroom gives you access to the garage. So here we are this fifth wheel has uh, two holding tanks one for the gray water one for the black water which is for the toilet and we also have the fresh water tank for portable water all right then these are all your control switches for the water heater also to uh, monitor the levels of your tank that's all right here in the cabinet um, as you walk into the coach on the on the front entrance and also you have the switch for the slide out uh, which is also in the same uh, compartment as the other control switches okay and lastly this cabinet right here actually turns into a bed so if you open this uh, cabinet you'll see a latching mechanism that's inside you got one on each side of this cabinet and then once you release it um, you, you can bring it down so this thing actually turns into a bunk bed so this unit weighs just a little bit over 20,000 pounds this can be uh, towed with uh, something like a 350 450 or a diesel dually um, and again it's made with aluminum uh, frame aluminum uh, exterior panels which makes this RV a little bit heavier than most However, it's much better quality and uh, you're not going to be dealing with water leaks like you typically do with regular fiberglass uh, travel trailers and fifth wheels. Anyways, guys, if you have any questions, please let me know. You can, you're more than welcome to leave a comment below uh, or you can also reach out to us uh, at 445-787-8230. Uh, again, that number is 445-787-8230. If you have any questions or if you're interested in this unit, I'll be more than happy to set up a time to show you and do a little walkthrough of it if you're uh, looking for something this size and this type of uh, unit. Thank you again. You guys have a wonderful summer and camping season ahead.